Jessie B. Scrapbooking back with another process video. This one is for the Christmas Memories Inspiration YouTube Hop uh, 12 Days of Christmas. And the prompt is silver and gold. So I'm starting off with this um, kind of a gold background um, cardstock. And then I'm going to put this sheet music paper right over top of it. And I got this idea from a card I seen on Pinterest. And uh, it turned out really cute. So I'm going to um, put a little bit of pattern paper on the back of the um sheet music in a second but first of all i am going to put this gold sparkly washi down one side and it's not quite white enough so i am going to use um two strips of it and this washi does not like to stick and stay so i'm putting heg down first to help it um stay stuck down so just run the ATG across the little spot where you want it. I actually got it over onto the washi a little bit on that. So I just um, rubbed it and it makes like little boogies. And so I just picked them off and it works really good. And then I'm just going to put this other strip and I'm overlapping it just a tiny bit. So you don't have a seam and uh, fold it over on the edges and call it good. So, um, as I'm uh, doing this and um, getting that um, pattern paper on the back of this sheet music, I'm going to remind everyone this is a hop. Make sure you go down and check um, everyone else that is uh, participating in this hop. Um, we got some amazing um, people playing along. And um, yeah. Just if you want some really good inspiration on Christmas uh, layouts, yeah, check everyone out. Okay, so here's where I am putting the pattern paper. And it is that white paper with uh, silver um, snowflakes on it. And so that's bringing in my silver and gold for the prompt. And... I end up coming back in a little bit later and adding some gold washi underneath where I flip over these um, paper, this fold over the paper, because um, it looks like it blends in a little bit too much with that um, uh, pattern paper on the front. Uh, okay, so I fold the papers back. I'm liking how that's looking. Um, I like the little bit of gold um, cardstock showing there. And now I am going to grab a bow. Oh, actually, this is where the picture is going to sit. So I'm just going to um, put my placeholder down for the picture. And it's four inches by, I think, three and a half. Maybe three. I can't remember. But yeah, so the picture's going to go there. And then I'm going to grab a bow and a stick right in that triangle. But, spoiler alert, it doesn't stay there. I, I like the sparkle of it a lot. And I like the little silver um, doodad in the middle. But I didn't care for the green after I got going. Because I want to make this whole layout nothing but gold and silver. So I end up poking it through and just twisting the little things. So at least I didn't use glue on it. So it does come off quite easy. But like I said, I really thought it looked cute. But um, I just I wanted to go with all gold and silver after I get going here. Okay, so the next thing I do is I grab out these gold and silver... Um, they're heavier than a sequin. They're for um, ornaments, like you're supposed to fill ornaments. Um, but I'm just going to use them as sequins. And I'm just going to have the gold and silver sprinkled and like falling down behind the picture. And uh, 
I think that this turns out real cute. And these are all like um, hexagon shapes. And I'm just going to mix the gold and silver together. So I'm starting off with the silver here. And then I grab the gold. And the gold is a little bit different than the gold washi I used on the side. But it's okay. Just a couple different tones of gold. This one has definitely a more of a yellow. Um, it's more of a yellow gold. Where the washi is more of a rose gold, I think. So, there we go. Get all that done. And I'm liking how that's looking. I really, really like the um, music um, paper in the background. I think that really looks cute. So, get me all cleaned up here. And then, this is where I think I'm going to decide that I don't want that um, green bow. So, I'm going to take it off. And I grab these. These are um, uh, foam stickers. And I tried the gold first. And I said that's not what I wanted. So I tried this silver one. And I like it a lot better. And I'm going to put it down. and But I'm not going to stick it completely down onto the black. And I'll actually stick a piece of... Um, sticker sheet underneath of it to keep it from sticking down to the black that way it will overlap the picture when I put the finally put the picture on and you will see at the end of this on the close-ups that the picture is in there now um, I did this uh, layout right before um, my niece she went to um, youth group and had a um, Christmas party and she won this uh, adorable little blanket and so she was spending the night with us so I grabbed a picture of her um, wrapped up in her blanket and that's what I'm going to use so you'll see that at the end but I didn't have it while I was making this I got it the picture a couple hours later so I pull out my stamps and I just stamp out or grab out letters that spell out joy and I'm stamping it in silver um, ink. And it's hard to see here on camera, but in person you can see it really well. And um, I think that's it. And I think this layout is done after that. I'll just add the pictures. Oh, that's right. I do end up adding a little bit of gold underneath um, the folds just because it doesn't stand out enough. So I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. So. I'm going to do that and then this layout will be done. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And make sure you go and check out everybody else that is participating in this YouTube hop. It is um, a lot of fun and there are some amazing people that are um, participating. So hop along and check everyone out. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.